Okay, so from 0 to 16, uh, graph y equals 4 sine 2 theta minus 45 plus 1 and the statistical. Now, you have no idea how to graph the statistical. I want to start with graphing it as a function of x plus b, and I will show you how to do the statistical. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I want you as immediately as you can on graph paper. No, I'm not kidding. That, when I say you, I mean everyone in the class. But you were the ones who need the most reminding of graphing nature. Okay, so be as, make this as accurate as you can. If you want to make your graph for this one giant, go ahead. Like maybe just fill it, make it a four, like half the page, like this. Okay. I want to give you about three minutes to graph that, then I'm going to take this up. Okay. Option on this that you guys can uh, do the original graph fine. If you can't, please listen in as I talk through this, okay? So, um, I'm going to start off here for the original. I'm going to say my uh, ask. Okay. Okay. Similar to that, I hope. Something similar. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get this one graphed up. Now, I'd like you to take some breaks around this graph over there. Uh, we need to remind you to register. Yeah. Um, it's going to take you at least to a point, if not bigger. Okay. An hour. An hour of the drive. Okay. So, like, if you could have your graph the whole width of the page here, if you can avoid the stuff going on here, that'd be fine. I'd go through it. That's half. That's at least at least that big. Try and make it as big as possible here, okay? Um, so here I'm going to get my graph down here. And as I said, I'm going to do this graph fairly quickly, the original one. Do I want to talk about the statistical uh, one quite a bit here? Uh, people were asking me to start bringing this to Do I need to show um, the negative values to x? I'm going to put this a little uh, nub there, just to the data to be zero. Alright, so when I, when I give you this on your uh, test, please try and take up the entire room. I have nice graph paper to try and post graph paper. Like this tall and this wide. Okay, it's like this big on your page. That's what I'm trying to test. Please try and take as much as you can. This needs to change the spacing a little bit. That's fine. Okay, especially for this one. So, uh, I'm going to start off with my axis, which is 1, which goes across like this. Uh, my max, which is going to be 5. Definitely not. Other than, other than, definitely not. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. My first point is going to be Acts 1 and 45. So we're beginning with 5. Can we go off like this? Okay, so this is the graph of, um, we're going to call that F of X. Now the reciprocal graph I'm going to do in blue is something completely different. We'll see if the graph looks something like that. This is where you should go back to the previous uh, note there and sort of see to make sure what happens to the circle. And you're in luck because we're dealing with something like that right now. Okay, so if you look back, uh oh. Okay, so if you go back to the previous uh, page here, it says um, what's the first thing we should do then? We graph the original function. What's the next thing that we should do after that? Okay, no one wants the answer. I'll help. Yeah, it says asymptote. So it says you're going back to here. There's going to be, an, when the original function is equal to zero, the reciprocal has an asymptote. So there's going to be asymptotes all over the place. So whenever this green line hits zero, we're going to draw an asymptote. We just want to estimate the area, but we can't do an exact one. So when this line equals zero, then I said, could you actually just solve it? All right, so th what's the next thing that the piece of paper said? On what is the axis of this zero? Is the axis of this zero? Okay, so uh, the next thing says whenever the original graph hits one, we have a common point. So I'm going to have a common point here at one, and one, one, and one, and it also said at negative one. So down here I have a common point. Down here I have a common point, down here I have a common point, and down here I have a common point. Okay. And one last thing that I didn't put in here, but I'm going to actually put in here, I'm going to actually do the reciprocal of the last point here. Okay. So if this point here is going to be 5, what's the reciprocal? Okay, if the original, sorry, what's the name? on the graph. This blue dot here, this is when x equals 1, and this is when x equals negative 1. So a y equals 1. Still not here for this. This is when y equals 1, 
this is when God is giving us the answer. Alright, so wonder why God is giving you the same message. Why don't you want to be the same one that you want to be? Alright, let's do one last thing and we'll stop here. So, when, um, is this original graph at the value of 5? This first clip show 5 from here. Okay, so the point of five. Okay, I'm not caught up with this. I just want to explain this because um, I'm not mentally good at this. Okay, so if five is the original point for f of x, right? So it's just the one over. It's going to be one over five. Okay, because this variable is five, right? Well, it's just the highest and lowest values of negative two. Okay, so I'm going to use negative three to represent that. So one fifth is going to be something like this. What that's actually mean now, and there's a graph that looks something like this. So this right here is going to be one fifth. Yeah. So this is zero. And this What happened was here, this is 5 up here, right? So this is just 1 fifth. Because like all the y all in itself, right? So in the same way, if this bottom point is negative 3, what's the fifth of negative 3 going to be? So negative 1 over 3, we're going to put up here somewhere. Is this a difficult graph? Yes, it is. That's why I showed it to the end. We'll do another one tomorrow here. I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. Okay. Are they difficult? That's a joke. Okay. Any questions? Oh, because on the top top part of the graph, right, this is positive. Everything between this and, and this is positive, right? Then everything between that and that is negative. Is the B one off? So the question was triangular or green line, no good. The original graph is yeah, that's it, yeah. Whenever the original graph is zero. Yeah, so like this here, this big graph here. Right? So just wait. So like just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. So when this green graph is zero. Original function is zero. You can't take it back. Right? 
Okay, one question for Omar, please. Guys, and I want you to stay sharp on this algebra stuff. It's been a while since we've done it. Okay, so do one tonight before I go to bed for you. Or at lunch. Okay, I want you to stay sharp on this. So, and I hope you got that down, right? Yeah. Okay. Did anyone not get a copy of this exam review stuff? I'll repeat this on it once more. I'll be in better spirits by then. Yeah.